this is going to be his best fight. So let me work on what I'm good at, what I'm weak at, and I'll bring something different. But at the end of the day, um, at heavyweight boxing, you know, this isn't a three-round fight based on skills. This is a 12-round dog fight, and you've got to have heart. You know what? It's going to work on the weaker part, and everyone mm -hmm. keep talking about, you know, that chin. When you are able to get him here, I mean, not. it's not just <laughs> Parker talking about it. Even, even Parker's promoter, yeah. trainer, uh, all of them. Um, the, the, the other day, the, the promoter and Eddie Hearn, I mean, I, I was like, <laughs> leave it to the boxers. I mean, what's your promoters <laughs> getting at yeah. each other? Then the coaches, you know, are having to say. Uh, but um, Anthony Joshua, I, I, I think... Um, Parker got under his skin, mm -hmm. um, but he didn't lose control. Yeah. That's what I like. Got under his skin. I mean, brought out what we all know, but seem to forget. Uh, he's been knocked down before. <laughs> and it can happen again. again. It can happen again. Yes, sir, about that. Okay, you know what? We hear from Anthony, uh, <laughs> Joseph Parker now, you know, talking about the weak points of Anthony Joshua. How he's going to capitalize on that and knock him down. Yeah, he is a good fighter, and he's got you know, a lot of support, as you can see. And he does a lot of good things and a lot of and some things that aren't that good when he's fighting, but I think this is my time. I think it's my destiny to be here, to be part of this uh, major event, and I feel like it's my time to <clears throat> to put up a great challenge, and I, I feel like I, I, I truly feel I'm going to win. This is probably going to be the hardest uh, camp in terms of training the hardest and putting in the most work because I have a big challenge in front of me, Joshua. Um, you know, Joshua, I've watched him for a long time. I know he's watched me. Um, coming up, I know his strengths, I, I know he knows mine, I know his weaknesses, and he thinks he knows my weaknesses. And I look forward to, well, I can't wait to have this fight happen March 31, I can't wait to train hard, can't wait to be back, to put on a great performance, hopefully catch him on the gym, and knock him out. You know, that chin, come keeps on. Keeps repeating it. <laughs> keeps repeating it. Keeps repeating it. That's it, what I get it. I don't know. I'm not a boxer, but if I, if I were him, I probably wouldn't say it. Okay. But he said it now. I'm just going to have to work on it. You see, I'm going to have to work on it. But um, it's, it's kind of a dilemma for uh, Joshua. He's someone who loves to box, loves to yeah. box. He's not the type that tries to outpunch you or mm -hmm. try to go for, you know, making a point. See, he goes for the knockout. And once you do that, if you're a fighter that's aggressive, Mm -hmm. If you if you meet up with some, a very good defensive boxer, say for yeah. instance like Floyd, although Floyd is not in the heavyweight, if, if you meet someone like that who knows how to defend, hold you, then you, you're going to be exposed. That uh, we know that um, from the Vlad fight and a couple of other fights, that it tends to gas out at some point. Mm -hmm. Then if if he's still on his feet, it tends to recover. So um, I, I wish both boxers uh, all the best. Uh, something tells me. We, we should not just rule out um, uh, Joseph Parker. We, we, we should okay. spare time. He's the superhuman that will stop Anthony Joshua, right? He that's might, just, he might just be. Okay, he's not telling me that. It's going to be new in the field. Okay, now let's talk the Australian Open. Well, a little bit of scare, you know, overnight. And, of course, a little bit of big games mm -hmm. at this morning. Rafael Nadal is still in action. But then the games that went down, you know, we're going to start with a certain 15-year-old Yes, girl. from Ukraine. From Ukraine. I mean, talking about Marta. Remember that name? Mata Kostyuk. Kostyuk. Yes, yeah, that's not from Ukraine. I mean, how she did it, it's something that is really remarkable. Now, she's 15, she'll be 16 in June, becoming mm -hmm. the first player, the youngest player to win the third ever. round, you know, in over 20 years. The last person who did it was uh, Martina Hingis. That was, in a, mm -hmm. you know, that was in quarterfinals, you know, in Australia. Then she was 15 years old in 1990s, but then very close. Just Listen to the ranking. Ago. <laughs> 521. That's the ranking. That's the ranking. Uh, it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. Uh, exceptional uh, mm -hmm. performance from uh, the, the youngster, Mata Kostyuk. And um, I'm impressed. She's going to face compatriot uh, Lina Svitolina in the next round. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't really matter. She's in the record the books. That. She's 15. She's gotten done. I can't remember until you brought up Martina Ingus. <laughs> I you know, di didn't remember. Yeah, Luchit Baroni, uh, that's me. And Luchit Baroni in 1997. US Open also. And I think that's we, should write, we should write down this name. Yes, she She's been at the second round mm -hmm. before, but this feat is it's remarkable. It's Very remarkable, remarkable for her. Let's listen to how excited she is. Well, I already know a little bit when I'm, where I'm going to spend this, but um, but I didn't really think as a you know like some big investments or something. I just I'm just now I'm still keeping money. You know, it's not like I got and then I go and spend. No, it's just maybe some I I'll get the presents for my family. 
first of all, of course, because I have big family. <laughs> and then for myself a bit, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, pretty good. I mean, so someone is saying right here in the studio, <laughs> but then she's just 15, and she's still amazed by it. But then, I don't know if her run is going to be stopped by uh, Svitolina. Yeah. You know, she's also from Ukraine. She also got a good one. You know, making it through to the third run. But you know what? She had to battle to fight. Forces. She lost her first set. Forces six to six one. You know, she had to you know put up a good fight against Senior Kova. You know, before she was able to you know make it to the third round and you know when you're facing you know another or another player that is from your own from your own country mm -hmm. and the player is so young how prepared will you be for that i, I think elena elena as, as vitalina will, will be under pressure um Kostik doesn't have anything to lose and that's a position you don't want to be you don't want to face um, uh, somebody who has nothing to lose. Uh, maybe we'll just try and see if we can get, um, see, get to see Elena's Vitolina and also uh, a reaction after um, you know, getting past our opponent, Sinakova, and um, talks about the next round uh, game uh, with our compatriots, uh, Kostyuk. So we do that and come back for more sports this morning. First time I heard about her when she won here. Um, it's you know it's it's good that it's pretty cool that I'm playing someone uh, uh, from my country and yeah it's gonna be very exciting for me and hopefully you know I can yeah be ready for that match and some you know it's not um, every day that you know I can play someone uh, who's from my country and especially you know for Ukrainian supporters it's gonna be fun to watch I guess and.